Hey there, Internet. Pixel Geek here. And this request for a tutorial comes from Carlos. Okay, so Carlos says, how do I reset a background video when a tab is selected? Right now, this is killing me. Is this a fair question? Yes, it is a very fair question. It is something that's a bit complicated. It does take some jQuery code, but it's not impossible. So this is going to be a fairly advanced tutorial, but hopefully you can uh, follow me. And at the end of this, I will have the a link to the clonable project below in the description so you can get the code and see how it, if it works for you. All right. So let me go to my screen. All right. So here we go. So I did research and yes, it's possible. And here we go. So we have two tabs. We have tab one with a border collie who's drinking water and then tab two with a dog looking at some latte. If I look at this, both videos are just playing. Okay, they're looping forever. Once they get to the end, it'll reset and play again. But what I think Carlos is looking for is if I click on tab one, then it'll restart from the beginning. If I click on tab two, it'll restart from the beginning. So yes, there is a way to do that. So here we go. Let's do the setup. All right, so each tab link uh, needs a class name. So I made it a class name of tab link, and this one is also tab link. On top of that, each tab link needs a custom attribute. So I'm going to call this like TN for tab number, okay? Uh, TN and the value is one because this is the first tab. And then do the same thing for two, TN value two. There we go. And now for my background videos, I need to do the same thing. I need to go to the selector for each background video. So this background video has bg-vid, and this one will also have bg-vid. So the one I'm selecting is in tab one. There we go, bg-vid. All right, so on top of that, they also need um, a, let's see here. Uh, they need an ID, okay? So I need an ID, so this is bgvid-1. So bg-vid-1, because this is the first one. I'm gonna go to tab two, click on its video, and then bg-vid-2. All right, so the setup is done. Now I need custom code. And this is the part that got me tripped up, and I was like, it's not working. I did make a previous video and I failed, but now this one, uh, is better now because I figured it out, <laughs> but um, here we go. Let me make sure I have my code ready. Okay, cool. So in the pages panel, I went down to my custom code. And now I'm gonna say, hey browser, I have some custom script. Now the browser is like, cool, what's your custom script? And I'm gonna say, uh, jQuery, please let me know whenever someone clicks on the tab link, all right? So whenever someone clicks on a, a, a tab link, so one of these right here, then do something. And that's what function means, do something. And again, if you're not from, um, com if you're not comfortable with code, you can just copy this from the project that you clone. All right, so now that's done. Now I need to create a a temporary memory in the browser and we call that variable so var so var and I'm gonna say TN for tab number so the temporary browser or variable is called TN and what what are we gonna put in that memory we're going to put uh, the the tab number the thing that you see oh, let me save this there we go the thing that you see right here I want to find this value All right so how to do that is we go to TN and say this, so I'm gonna, whatever I clicked on, which is the tab link, this exact tab link that I clicked on, find its custom attribute, that's what ATTR means, um, and find the one that's called TN. So TN, the attribute of TN, whatever is its value will be saved in here. 
So if you pretend the number two is inside of TN. All right, so what do we do with this? So we save that number. Next, we have to pause all the videos that are on the page, okay? So how do we do that? We tell jQuery, hey, for all the bg-vid, so all the background video elements that have a class name of bg-vid, inside of there, there should be a video. For all those videos that you find, each of the videos that you find on the page, do something. All right, so we have a, a function within a function, right? And this each is just gonna keep looping. It's gonna say, look for each background video with that class name. Right? So what do you do if you find one? Well, you get this video, get it, and pause it. Okay? But not only that, you need to get that video and rewind its current time to zero. So that's how you rewind it. You can't press stop on a HTML5 video. You can only pause and play. So this one is pause and rewind, which is essentially stop. Okay, so we have that. And the last piece of code is find the background video, bg dash video dash, um, oh wait, no, sorry, it's not dot. It's pound because the difference between pound and dot is dot is a class name that shows up here and then pound is or hash is this ID right here okay so hash or pound whichever you want and we're going to pull in the TN so that number will be sent down to here okay and then I'm gonna press the space and say space video. So it kind of looks like this, but the only difference is I'm putting a ID number that we made up in here. Okay, so get that video and press play. All right, so save, publish, and let's see it happen. So we're on tab two, if I click on tab one, go back to tab two, and you can tell it's rewinding because, there we go. Cool, so it is possible, it is doable, and it is kind of low code, kind of confusing, but not impossible. Um, so yeah, hopefully this helps you understand it more, uh, and if you don't understand it, just clone the project and look through it. Hopefully this helps and yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below and as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.